Hello guys, this is Godly Psych and today I'm going to speak about the bandwagon effect bias. The bandwagon effect bias is a kind of group thing that it makes you want to believe in things because other people believe in it. And it's as long belief that Satan works like a buzzing conscience in our ears. Like an evil, evil counselor telling us to do the things that are is wrong. Telling to do the desires, evil desires of our hearts. But the question is, does Satan really work that way? Is the work of the devil that obvious? Hmm. Contrary to popular belief, the example of, of the temptation of Jesus, Satan used the scriptures to try to tempt, tempt our Lord Jesus Christ. But one thing protected the Lord Jesus Christ from falling temptation. Not only the divine nature, but his knowledge of the words. Note that he did not use his powers against Satan, but rather use the scriptures to defend himself. Now the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 11.14 that for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Telling us that Satan would not work in obvious ways. As the Bible says, he is indeed the father of all lies. By that, be that being said, he is obviously the best liar there is. One you will not be able to know right away if he is lying or not. As is shown in the Bible, that even the scriptures can be used by Satan to deviate us from the truth. Therefore, it's our duty and responsibility to interpret and use the Bible the right way. Not rely on bandwagon effect bias or what people say of the truth or what even your pastor or your friend or even your family tells you, but rather believe on what is written. How do we do it? We study the Bible. If you listen to something, do not just believe because everybody else believes, but rather recheck it. Look at the scriptures. Look at it if it's really what the Bible says. Had the Lord Jesus not rely on what he knew, but rather on how the scripture was presented to him, or rather how everybody else was thinking, looking for power and riches, he would have fallen into the sea. Now we follow the example of Jesus and stand strong in our belief. Now be very careful of the bandwagon effect. Sometimes we are in a road just because everybody is on it and we do not know that is leading us to our damnation.